If you want to end a conversation really quickly, start with, hey, I have some advice for you. Hi, I'm Mike Antonacci, and I'm here to help you become the hero God is calling you to be. And I really don't like cheap advice. You probably don't either. And I think part of it is, in general, we just don't like advice. Even if we need to hear it, we don't want someone to tell us what to do. And a lot of times it's unsolicited. Like if I was seeking out advice and asked for it, like that's one thing. But if someone just comes up to me and says, you know what you should do, I'm even if it's a good idea, I just don't want to hear it because it, I didn't ask for it. Also, a lot of that advice of, of that sort tends to come across as like the person giving it sees some of their worth as a person coming from whether or not you do it. So it's not like, hey, here's a helpful suggestion. If you want to use it, cool. If you don't want to use it, cool. Um, instead, it's more like you need to do this. Oh, you didn't do it. Well, how dare you? You insulted me, which is stupid. But like that's that that mindset comes across kind of like um, if someone asks your opinion on a, a food dish that they cooked, usually they're not actually asking if you liked it or not. Um, it's more of like, do you like me as another way that a lot of times I don't like advice is if the person either doesn't know what they're talking about expertise wise or experience wise. Um, so expertise would be, you know, they give some sort of health advice, but actually it's unhealthy. They're like, you know, you should just eat cookies, which while I would enjoy doing that, that's actually not a healthy thing to have that be the only thing that you eat or lack of experience in it. Um, I'm trying to think of a good example. Maybe someone gives you marriage advice, but they've been divorced five times. Probably you should do the opposite of what they suggest. Um, they're good at starting marriages, but not necessarily good at staying in them. So their, their advice lacks experiential authority. If I had to sum all of this up in one phrase, that phrase would be cheap advice. And the way someone described cheap advice to me was, the person is unwilling to accompany you. They are unwilling to enter your discomfort or enter your suffering. Instead, from a distance, they throw a uh, you know an advice grenade at you and then think the problem is solved. And well, if you don't solve the problem right away, well, why didn't you just do it? Um, kind of like how we describe other people's jobs as easy, but my job, well, no, you shouldn't describe my, my job as easy. Um, cheap advice is just like, here, let me just fix this problem and I'm going to walk away rather than accompanying someone. Accompaniment is more than just showing someone the way, it's actually walking on the way with them. And that's a huge difference between cheap advice. Cheap advice is just that, that's the way to go, which they actually might not know what they're doing and it might not be the way they go. Even if it is, they're unwilling to walk with you. Whereas accompaniment is, yes, I will enter this with you. And I might not even be able to solve the problem but I will at least be there. And that's been, accompaniment's been a big theme of Pope Francis, that we need to go out into the world to accompany people. Meeting people where they're at, you know, you hear that phrase in ministry a lot, that means accompaniment. That means actually entering their world, not just, here, you should come into mine. You don't need problems. You could leave your problems, come to me. Like, no, I will come to you in your problems, because that's what Jesus did for us. Um, he didn't, you know, just like sit up, you know, all high and mighty and, uh, you know, hand wave, problems away. He entered and took our problems. Like Jesus had diarrhea at some point in his life, probably. What? Now, most of this so far, you've probably been thinking about other people giving you cheap advice, but now's the time to switch it and think about when do you tend to give other people cheap advice and when instead you can accompany them. And I think a big area for that is evangelization. Because a lot of times we turn the good news into the good advice. And since people don't want to hear advice, they just immediately reject it out of hand. So instead, good news, now it does give advice. It does call for a change of your life. But that's not first. You don't lead with that. You lead with, you know, Jesus became human. He loves you. He died for you. You know, the general stuff. But that also includes accompanying them and entering their life first so that you can tell them the good news. It's not like, you know, you're at a distance shouting it. Hey, here's this thing. It's like, no, you're right there with them telling them that. But I think sometimes it's very easy for someone who's already committed their life to Jesus, such as you possibly. Um, it's easy for you to forget how difficult that decision may have been and therefore glossing over other people's difficulties. And you're like, come on, man, just get it together. 
forgetting that for you it was a long, laborious process and God was very patient with you. So accompanying means not trying to speed it up. Like, look, I'm going to walk with you on this path for another five minutes, but like, if you don't get it together by then, bye. Like, that's bad. We should not be doing that. And accompanying is very difficult, which is probably why we tend to prefer cheap advice. That's very easy. It's very low risk. Me giving you cheap advice, you have the problems. I don't have any of the problems, but if I'm accompanying you, then now this is higher risk, higher investment for me. And that's really what people deserve. They deserve to be loved in that way by each of us. That's what heroes do. They don't opt for cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Now, also, they don't go make their life extra difficult, but they do the difficult things that they should do. And in our case, as heroes, here and now, accompaniment is one of those things. P.S. Be a hero today.